My name is Cheryl C and today I'm going to show you a quick little trick on how to remove the paper pieces when you're doing English paper piecing. I love to English paper piece by basting my pieces through the fabric only and not through the paper. It makes it easier to remove for larger shapes. For smaller shapes, sometimes I need an extra little trick. So I'm going to show you a few things. On this project, I have an awful lot of tiny, tiny little um, triangles here. I'm going to flip this over to the back so you can see this. On a big shape like this half hexagon, once all the pieces are sewn around it, it would not be that hard to pull on the bias and remove this paper piece. But on these itty bitty little triangles, the seam allowance um, covers over the paper and e pulling on the bias wouldn't be very helpful at all to remove. One very well-known trick is to use a pen, but with so many different pens available, I thought it needed a little bit of clarification. We have different heads on the, our pens, and our inclination would be to use the tip of the pen to try to remove the paper piece. For a larger shape, this would probably work, but for a smaller shape, it's not going to work very easily. It's going to get frustrating. So I want to resort back to our good old fashioned straight pin. These might be some pins that are buried in your sewing box because you haven't used them in a long time. Cause let's face it, they're not very pretty, but it has a really nice flat edge that's gonna catch that paper piece. I'm gonna remove a little triangle here to show you. See this paper piece? It's buried, you can't, can't see it unless you really peek in there. I'm gonna take my straight pin I'm going to grab that edge and then just pop that paper piece out. So much easier than pulling on the bias and I can still reuse these pieces over and over again. For more English paper piecing ideas, patterns, workshop information and products, visit my website at www.cherylc.com or www.ccsquilts.com.